What did you think of this first look? The Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and the Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass will be composed of the Isle of Armor, planned to be released June 2020, and the Crown Tundra, planned to be released in Fall 2020. If you buy the Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass, you'll be able to enjoy both as they're released. The Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra are in development as we speak. So today, we'd like to show off some designs and concept art to help introduce you to these new areas. Your adventures in Galar are getting even bigger. First, let us introduce the Isle of Armor, which focuses on the theme of growth. Take a look. The next destination in your adventure is a giant island off the shores of the Gala region known as the Isle of Armor. This island is full of beautiful nature. You'll find beaches, bogs, forests, caves, and dunes. And of course, you'll find Pokémon that you couldn't previously find in Galar dwelling there too. There's a dojo for Pokémon battles on this island. And you'll take up an apprenticeship under the Pokémon trainer who runs it. This is Mustard, who will become your mentor. He's also the mentor of Champion Leon, who you probably know quite well. In fact, Mustard has occupied the seat of Champion himself in the past. You'll also encounter new rivals among your fellow apprentices. When playing with the Pokémon Sword Expansion Pass, you'll be training with Clara, who is a Poison-type user. When playing with the Pokémon Shield Expansion Pass, you will be training with Avery, who is a Psychic-type user. They're both training hard so they can someday have a gym and stadium to call their own. Next, we'd like to introduce the legendary Pokémon that will be central to the story. Cubfu. It's a fighting-type Pokémon that strives to become stronger with single-minded dedication. As you progress through your training, Mustard will entrust you with this Pokémon. Once you complete your training together with Cubfu, it will be able to evolve into Urshifu. Urshifu is a Pokémon with two distinct styles. There is Single Strike Style, a Fighting and Dark type style that delivers a single strike at blinding speed. There is also Rapid Strike Style, a Fighting and Water type style that focuses on unleashing a torrent of rapid strikes. What's more, it's been revealed that Urshifu has a Gigantamax form. Each style will have a different appearance, as well as a different G-Max move. You'll be able to evolve your Cubfu into an Urshifu in one of these two styles, Single Strike Style or Rapid Strike Style, during your adventure. Urshifu is a powerful Pokémon with a brand new ability, and it also has a new move for each of its two styles. Once you've completed your training, bring it with you for some online battles or official competitions. We also want to talk about Rillaboom, Cinderace, and Inteleon final evolutions of the first three Pokémon you team up with in the Galar region. During your adventure in the Isle of Armor, these special partners in your teams will be able to Gigantamax. You can look forward to seeing their new forms and new G-Max moves. And as you can see here, we've got even more in the works to make sure your journey is as smooth and fun as possible. There are new fashion items, and you'll even be able to obtain new looks for your bike. We hope you'll look forward to the new experiences coming in the Isle of Armor. Next, I'd like to discuss the Crown Tundra, the second area, which has a theme of exploration. I'm going to show you the information we have at the moment. This expansion is set in the snow-swept realm of the Crown Tundra. Take a look for yourself at the beautiful scenery of this shining, silvery landscape. As it turns out, the Isle of Armor isn't the only uncharted area waiting for you all in the Gala region. In this frigid area, with its towering winter mountains, people live in small communities that support and rely on each other. Much like on the Isle of Armor, you'll be able to find Pokémon that didn't appear in the Gala region before. Fitting right in with this area's theme of exploration, there will be plenty for you to uncover. 
You might find a strange temple where you least expect it, or maybe spy a mysterious giant tree growing in a place it doesn't seem to belong. A certain person will appoint you as the leader of their exploration team in the Crown Tundra. You can gear up for adventure, and then head out to explore blizzard-swept fields, and even deep inside Pokémon dens, which you could only previously get a glimpse of during max raid battles. Next, we'd like to introduce Calyrex, the legendary Pokémon you'll discover during your adventure. Legends say this Pokémon once ruled over a part of Galar that included the Crown Tundra. It's characterized by its graceful, regal movements. Get ready to experience a never-before-told story about the mysteries of Calyrex. The Crown Tundra will have a new form of co-op play as well. This will allow you and friends to enter and explore Pokémon dens that exist underground in the Crown Tundra. Deep inside the dens, you may see legendary Pokémon from past games Dynamaxing before your eyes. You'll be able to meet and make allies of all kinds of legendary Pokémon during your adventures in the Crown Tundra including ones you'll be able to catch through this co-op play. It also appears that some brand new legendary Pokémon are also waiting to be found somewhere in this land. And combined with the Isle of Armor, dozens of new clothing items will be added. Plus there will be new battles waiting for you to challenge once you complete your entire game, including the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. We can't go into the details of everything, but we're working on planning and developing new ways to enjoy Pokémon even as we speak. The Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra areas themselves are actually two key examples of the things we're working on. Both areas are in fact seamless maps, much like the wild area you can already experience in the Galar region, where players are able to move around freely and control the camera. Of course, you'll be able to connect with other trainers and play with them too. There will be Pokémon dens as well and you'll be able to engage in max raid battles against Pokémon that haven't previously appeared in the Gala region. There's more to see and do on the Isle of Armor and in the Crown Tundra than there was even in the Wild Area. We'll bring you more information about them in future news reports, so please stay tuned. These updates will allow people who don't have the Pokémon Sword and Pokémon Shield Expansion Pass to obtain the Pokémon that appear on the Isle of Armor and in the Crown Tundra through other means, such as trading. Players will also be able to bring over Pokémon to their games from the cloud service Pokémon Home as long as the Pokémon appear in the Pokémon Sword and Pokémon Shield Expansion Packs. Pokémon Home is planned to launch in February 2020. We intend to release even more details before then, so please wait just a little bit longer. Finally, we have some more news for our Pokémon Sword and Pokémon Shield players. Starting today, it seems like you're more likely to run into Gigantamax Colossal, Gigantamax Lapras, and Gigantamax Flapple or Gigantamax Appleton in max raid battles in the wild area. Face these powerful Pokémon with your friends. There will also be a software update going live available later today. Once you've received the update, head to Wedgehurst Station. In Pokémon Sword, you'll encounter Clara, while in Pokémon Shield, you'll run into Avery. You'll also encounter a Galarian Slowpoke that's wandered in from the Isle of Armor. You can try to catch it and add it to your team. Galarian Slowpoke can evolve into Galarian Slowbro if you use an item that can be found on the Isle of Armor, or into Galarian Slowking if you use an item that can be found in the Crown Tundra. Don't forget to check it out! Got me feeling like a